Hello, everybody. Welcome to another Market Minute with Jake. I am your host, Jake Eldridge, with Realty One Group Eminence. And in today's Market Minute, we are discussing the real estate activity for Reno and Sparks, Nevada for August 9th, 2021. If we take a look at the real estate activity for Reno and Sparks, it is currently showing that there is 554 homes actively for sale right now in Reno and Sparks, and 311 out of that 554 indicated they would be eligible for FHA financing. I always make note of that because many buyers are not only taking advantage of historically low interest rates, but in addition to that, they are using FHA financing so they can put as little as 3.5% down as the down payment towards the purchase of that new home, when it used to be that sometimes you had to come up with upwards of 20% as the down payment to purchase a new home. So when we dive right into the numbers, again, there was 554 homes actively for sale. The highest list price was 15.9 million and the lowest at only 129,900. There was 11 homes in the 100 to 200,000 price range, 39 homes in the 200 to 300,000 price range, 56 homes in the 300 to 400,000 price range, 98 homes in the 400 to 500,000 price range, 96 homes in the 500 to 600,000 price range, 61 homes in the 600 to 700,000 price range, 36 homes in the 700 to 800,000 price range, 26 homes in the 800 to 900,000 price range, 13 homes in the 900,000 to 1 million price range, 81 homes in the 1 million to 2 million price range, 25 homes in the 2 million to 3 million price range, 4 homes in the 3 million to 4 million price range, 3 homes in the 4 million to 5 million price range, 3 homes in the 5 million to 7 million price range, nothing in the 7 to 10 million price range, but there were 2 homes in that 10 plus million price range. So when I break all of these numbers down, it indicates that the median list price for a home in Reno and Sparks right now is sitting at about 594000 and the average list price for a home in Reno and Sparks is sitting at 873000 If we look at the days on market activity for the region, it shows that there's currently only a median days on market of about 19 days and an average days on market of only 45 days. So this is where I like to break things down even further for you guys. With such limited inventory and homes flying off the shelves very rapidly, I think it's important that you pay attention to four things when actively looking for a home to purchase. Make sure you're looking at first anything that is in a new status. This is going to be the most recently listed homes for sale. Next, make sure you're looking at anything that shows in a back on market status. That status indicates that the home sellers had actually previously accepted an offer to purchase their property, but for whatever reason, the buyer had to back out of that transaction. Now that might simply be because the financing fell through and they were unable to qualify for a loan, or it could be due to appraisal issues or home inspection issues. After that, make sure you are also looking at anything in a reduced status. This is going to be the homes that have reduced the price of the home. So usually that indicates that the home was listed a little bit too high and so there wasn't very much activity as far as offers being written or people viewing the home. So they reduced the price in an effort to get more people through the door. Lastly, make sure that you are also looking at anything that is in an extended status. That extended status is very similar to that of the reduced status as when a listing shows as extended, it typically means that the home sat on the market so long that they in fact had to um, fill out or extend the time frame that was allowed when they filled that out with their real estate agent. So if I break the numbers down based on those four statuses of new back on market price reduced or extended, 181 out of the 554 homes that were for sale fell into those four statuses and 124 out of that 181 indicated they would be eligible for FHA financing. The highest list price was at 
four million and the lowest list price at one hundred and twenty nine thousand nine hundred there was four homes in the one hundred to two hundred thousand price range 13 homes in the 200 to 300,000 price range, 16 homes in the 300 to 400,000 price range, 43 homes in the 400 to 500,000 price range, 38 homes in the 500 to 600,000 price range, 21 homes in the 600 to 700,000 price range, 8 homes in the 700 to 800,000 price range, 8 homes in the 800 to 900,000 price range, one home in the 900,000 to 1 million price range, 18 homes in the 1 million to 2 million price range, 8 homes in the 2 million to 3 million price range, 1 home in the 3 to 4 million price range, and 1 home in the 4 to 5 million price range. So when I break those numbers down, it indicates that the median list price for a home in Reno and Sparks that is in a new back on market price reduced or extended status sits at about 549000 for that median list price. The average list price sits at about 726000 So that is it for today's Market Minute with Jake. As always, if you enjoy the content, please don't forget to click that like button. If you have family or friends that need help with the sale of their existing home or who are actively searching for a home to purchase, I'd love the opportunity to talk with them, so please feel free to tag them in this video as well. You can reach me seven days a week on my cell phone at 775-378-4976. You can email me at jakeeldridge32 at gmail.com. Or if you are watching on Facebook, simply click that send message button. And you can use Facebook's messenger service to send an instant message with your questions. And I'm always happy to answer that way as well. Thank you again and have a great night.